Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me. Um, I just got done filming this eye look, so if you'd like to see how I got this neutral eye look using my Naked Basics palette, then um, I have, like I said, I have a tutorial. I don't know if it's going to be going up before or after that, but hopefully I'll remember to link it. If not, um, you should still go check it out if you're interested in seeing how I got this look. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a kind of like a foundation routine, or maybe it's a first impression. It's all kinds of like a first impression. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my foundation routine for when I get married. So, I've been buying a couple things. I bought this new um, Prime Time by Bare Minerals, and it's in their neutralizing shade. I just got it today. I know I just filmed a haul. And I returned the brightening, which one was it? The liquid bright, like, well rested. It's not that it wasn't a good product, but having the powder and the, oh, what am I trying to say? Having the powder and the liquid was way too much for under my eyes. It just made me look bad. So, now I'm trying. Okay. So this is my first time using this one, so hopefully I didn't get too much out. And this primer has stated that it does a lot. I'm going to try and put it under my eyes mostly. It's supposed to help neutralize discoloration, which I don't really have a whole lot because I've been tanning. But under my eyes, I have some horrible darkness under my eyes. Okay. Try nice, try to nice feel on my face. Okay, I'm trying to do this quick. So, next thing I'm using is gonna be my Stila foundation, the long wear foundation, which I like this. I've used it before. I don't have any complaints about it. And I'm just gonna take it and blot it on with my fingers really quickly. This is somewhat how I do my foundation every day, except for the primer is new, but I do prime my face every day. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to blend that out. I love my Beauty Blender. It really was one of the best purchases, like best cosmetic tool purchases that I've ever made. I got mine on cherryculture.com, I believe. Uh, I got like their holiday set at the end for the three and I got the three pack for 50 and it came with a black a white oh no, I think it's a black a white and a pink so the traditional pink one and really once you wet them they really are like one of the best things to use on liquid foundation I have found I wish I had something interesting to say. Well, I guess I do. I don't think I've ever actually thanked anybody for or told anybody how grateful I am whenever someone clicks on to watch my videos. And I appreciate it whenever anybody clicks onto my videos and I appreciate all my subscribers. I just am not very technologically savvy and since um, they've changed up their, um, oh, what is it, since they've changed up their site, I don't know how to look at my comments anymore, like see if anybody let me comment on any of my videos. And I know I had one like from one of my older videos and I felt so bad. 
because I didn't know about it. It took me so long to respond to her. I think it was for my Burberry haul. And I felt horrible. But the only way that I know how to check comments is because I, I'll use my iPad. And I haven't quite figured it out how to do... Like, unless someone comments on my page, I don't think I can see it. I have to go to, like, my individual videos. I'm using my Garnier now. Just to help neutralize even more. And... So, unless I go to every single one of my videos to look, I don't really know how to check my comments. But, I appreciate every, I, I at least just appreciate people watching it. Watching me do my thing. Because I really, I like making the videos. Even though I get really nervous and I don't really know what to say. Even though, like, I think about it ahead of time. And all that good fun stuff. For some odd reason, my forehead looks darker than the rest of my face to me. Hmm. Maybe I just look darker than the rest of me. I don't know. We will see. But so far, so good. I'm gonna... I know people say not to, like, put as, put as little product under your eyes as possible, but I'm trying to hide these puppies right here. Like, those puppies right there. I don't know if you can see them, but... In the right lighting, they are there and they drive me crazy. So Especially since I I bought new glasses last year and you know what? I know I'm getting married. I know I'm getting married on the beach and it's outside. But a part of me was like, oh, I'm gonna get transition lenses in my expensive ass frames. And so I just decided that I might as well wear contacts on my wedding day. So, but I have these huge bags under my eyes, they're dark circles, and just, I just don't know what to do. Okay, so here's do or die time. I bought, I think I mentioned this in the, my tutorial, I think, but I bought, um, the Bare Minerals Try Believe Love. And you know what? This is great. If you're tanning for when you're getting married, and you don't know, and like, at least just for a setting powder. Man, get these guys. Look at how tiny these are. And they're great. They're going to be great for me to travel. And I mean, I just, I'm just in love with that idea all in general. But okay. And it's 20 bucks. And you also, oh, and you also get these guys. Look at how cute these are. Like you get a little mini kabuki brush and then the mini concealer. But I have the full size concealer brush, so I'm just going to use that one since it's already opened. I bought that one yesterday because I now live at Ulta, I guess. So. so. <laughs> the concealer matches me fairly well, actually. I was afraid it wasn't because the lady who matched me matched me to Summer Bisque. I think I also said that in my tutorial. My eye tutorial. So that was the one I was looking for, but then when I was like matching myself to the foundations right there really quick, I noticed that medium um, worked best for me and it came with Bisque, not Summer Bisque. So, like, I almost got medium beige, but I think. For my undertone, that would have been not a very good look on me. I guess maybe. I don't know. I hope everyone enjoyed their Valentine's Day. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot. We did, like, I'm not really all that into Valentine's Day. I know, it's ridiculous, right? But one of our first places that we hung out at was Chipotle. So now all we do is just go to Chipotle on Valentine's Day. And it's a cute little tradition that I enjoy having. So that's all we really did. I had to work and then I watched my niece. And life went on as normal. So now I'm going into well rested. And you know what? I really actually enjoy this stuff.
I just have to be careful with how I apply it. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'll figure it out one of these days. That's why I'm playing, like, I should have been doing this a while ago. Like, shame on me. I know. Shame, shame on me. I should have been doing this, like, way a long time ago. But, I have, like, a month left, I guess. I'm using just a fluffy brush, just to kind of swirl that in right there. And the real test is when I go in my bathroom to see how well it does. I'm actually going to take a little bit and just kind of Alrighty, and that's really it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use very little of. Um, I don't know if I have a brush that can fit into the lid or not. But I'm gonna use a little bit. No, not mineral bell of the original foundation and I'm going to be putting on medium so let's give this sucker a try so afraid these little mini ones are in their new packaging and I'm so afraid of using way too much so let's see little brush, little brush. I'm actually going to use my elf blush brush I think that will be nice enough to Help me set all of this stuff and help me blend this out a little bit more. Because that was my problem when I was using both of the well rested. I was like, I was like yellow white underneath my eyes. And I don't know if that's how I look right now. Like I said, the ultimate test is going to be when I look in. Oh, where would I look in? my bathroom here. Okay. Well, that's it for the foundation. I'm going to, I'll just go ahead and finish this out since I'm here. And I'll go ahead and use my um, Lauren Geller Big Duo. I've had this for a while. And I'm taking the champagne side. And then I'm going to take my um, True Match in Coca. Do a little bit of bronzing. This part is really actually great for bronzing also. And then since I'm darker, I'm going to use Sonia Kashuk Flushed. So. And this is that, this is the Walmart angle brush that I always keep hearing everybody talk about. So. Just to give myself a super rosy glow. Take my Bare Essential Soft Focus Face Brush and kind of doesn't that help? All right, and that is it for my face routine. I hope you enjoyed this video and.
for my first impressions on some of the stuff. I like it right now. I'll go ahead and see my final test when I go into go look into um, my bathroom here. So I'm going to go do that right now. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.